Last time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Your arm's off! No, it isn't! I can't feel my legs! We just had a slight weapons malfunction, but uh, everything's fine now. Situation normal. How are you? And now, the continuation. Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Since last time, we were all the way at Riovanes, and I made my way all the way down here. Because, even though Alma is in immediate peril, this is the best time to do side quests! Being Chapter 4, a lot of side quests are going to start opening up, and I'm going to try and spread them out throughout the chapter, so I'm not going to have, like, two weeks of side quests consecutively. But anyway, once you reach Chapter 4, you can come on over to Goog Machine City. Uh, I would imagine you have to have Mustadio in your party for this to happen. I don't know. There's probably some side quests in the PSP version that I can't show you because well, I'm not playing that version, so... Oh well. I'll show you what I can from this version of the game. Oh, they were digging up some stuff there. Yeah, now that we're in Chapter 4, you notice Ramza's outfit has changed there a little bit, too. And his, uh, uh portrait has changed there as well. Uh, also in Chapter 4, Ramza has access to some new abilities, and, as a squire, that is, and he can equip knight swords in his squire job class, like Excalibur, uh, things like that. So, we'll be getting to that soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But anyway, remember that sign that, uh, or it's a zodiac symbol that uh, Bizrodio was talking about. And now, I took four hours to do all the propositions <laughs> that were available in the game. Uh, this is where we were at the beginning of chapter four, and... Well, it took me four hours real time because I was resetting constantly every time I got into a random battle because, well, it's just faster to do it that way. But, yeah. So, basically, once you uh, go to Goog Machine City, make your way all the way up to Goland Coal City. Go to the bar. I don't know how you're supposed to figure out all the requirements for this side quest, but here's how you're supposed to do it. So, do that. Come all the way up here. Look at this. Tell us about some sort of monster or something. Hmm. Well, I'll see if I can get more information about that. Now, head on up to the Lazalia there. Everything proceeds automatically from here. So, uh, make sure you saved and done everything. So. See if we can get more information about that monster. I like this song. I like the whole soundtrack of the game. Uh-oh, there's a unique sprite in the lower right corner. What does that mean? Okay, how's it going? Shouldn't that be Bartender? Kind of looks like that guy that got killed, uh, Barrington. Milk? Did he really ask for milk in the original translation, or maybe even in the PSP translation? I I'm just curious. I wonder how the censorship process worked in this game, because it seems pretty, uh off the wall, or not, not in, pretty inconsistent. Sometimes, you know, they're like, oh, we'll show all this blood and gore and everything like that, but, uh, oh no, we can't have references to alcohol. No, absolutely not. I don't know how that works, viewers. You got me on that one. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Trying to think of a Final Fantasy XII reference with all the hunts and everything like that. My rank is doing pretty good ever since I've been doing all those propositions. Some of them I didn't do back in Chapter 3, like at Warheelis, just because it was so far away. I was just like, you know what, screw it. But this time I figured, okay, now let's, let's do them now because there are some unique propositions and such that I was able to do, so... Holy Dragon, huh? Holy Dragon, Batman! Uh, for a second there, I thought it said Batmaster. But, uh, no, that, that wouldn't be right. Well, okay, let's go check it out. Hey, how's it going? Well, I've already got enough units in my party there. 
Beowulf, huh? Is that like a Shakespeare name or something like that? I don't know. If it is, I've never read it. Not a big fan of literature, I'll be honest with you, Chris. Although I was pretty good in uh, English class, I just didn't like it. Sure, why not? How good could he possibly be? Well, let's find out. He's going to join our party now as a guest. And he has some interesting abilities. Nothing obscene. Nothing godlike. But still, eh, worth taking along. So, sure. Let's see what he's got here. Beowulf. He got a broadsword. Oh, we got to change that. Uh, can I get a better sword for you? No, I don't have a better sword for you. Okay, well, hold on. Let's buy one. Usually he comes with a better sword than that. Hmm, how bizarre. Well, let's get another ice brand, because I got all this money from doing all those propositions there. That'll help us out a little bit. Uh, there we go. Man, he doesn't even have that good armor. Do you have anything? No, you don't. Okay, I guess I gotta buy armor for him, too. He's gonna... Well, we'll see. We'll see. But it's worth buying uh, better stuff for him. Maybe even get a... Uh, what is that thing? Dracula. Answer. There we go. I wasn't planning on buying all this stuff for him, but... Well, usually he comes with better stuff. Okay, that ought to be good enough if he doesn't have the best stuff. So, let's see what abilities he comes with, too. He has Magic Sword. And he comes with a lot of Oracle abilities. At least whenever I play it, he does. So, see what he's got here as a Temple Knight. Yeah, basically, he, as a Temple Knight, he has a bunch of Oracle abilities there. But they're in... I think they're... Yeah, they're instant cast. So, that's pretty nice. And I think their accuracy is better, too. Let's equip that. I don't need a quick change. I don't want him wasting a turn. Okay. Oh, and by the way, some people wanted me to mix it up and didn't think I was powerful enough already. So I learned the mighty math skill. <laughs> uh, basically, the way it works, you have to have priest and wizard at level 4, time mage, and oracle at least level 3, and you can unlock the calculator job class. The requirements are probably different in the PSP version, but anyway, you can learn all these abilities, and I will explain how that works. I also learned like a lot of dancer and bard abilities. I got move plus three from bard, but you know, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm just so obscenely powerful at this point, it doesn't even matter. So, but anyway, so once you, okay, you went to Goog, you go to Golan to ask about the rumor. You go to Lazalia, get Beowulf. Then you go to Golan. We get some optional battles here. So let's see what we can do. Let's see, so Ramza there. Let's see, Agras would probably be pretty helpful. Yeah, let's do that. Nah, I don't need uh, Rafa and Malak. They will never see any action. So, oh well. Put them there. And we should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm going to start showing off some of the more exotic abilities in this game, like math skill, dancing, uh, singing, things like that. Just to kind of mix it up as much as I can, but math skill is just obscenely powerful. So, uh-oh, I didn't realize I put Agrius right next to that guy. I hope he can't shoot her. But yeah, you also get Beowulf for this battle. Nice music. And it's snowing, so, so much the better. I wonder if that would amplify my holy sword skills with, um... No, get down there. I wonder if that would amplify my holy sword skills since this is an ice area. Just trust me, there's a chemist there. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> yeah, not much you can do there. Oh. Oh yeah, that is what I wanted to do. I was like, wait a minute, did I want to do that? Yeah, yeah, I suppose I did. I was thinking I might have wanted the ninja on the other side. Nuts! He's one tile away. Can I shoot this guy? Yes, I can! Well, you want to fight an army of chemists? Now you can. Although this battle is pretty easy because they only have mithril guns, so... Nothing I'm not worried about. That's one reason why I have no problem demonstrating math skill, because, regardless, it's going to be pretty easy. See, that's his magic sword ability. Look at that accuracy! Holy cow! So, yeah, it's not bad! He also has some other abilities, like some that... Uh, can reduce Brave by a lot, by the way, 
too. So, oh, hopefully they won't uh, kill my wizard. I didn't realize. I thought putting him there would put him out, or putting her there would put her out of range. How can you use that from above? That doesn't work that way. Well, do ow. Hopefully I don't have any potions. Good. I have high potions. Excellent. Excellent! Oh, that chemist can't do anything. Ha ha! Well, they have high potions? You're not supposed to have access to high potions. I wonder how the game determines that. Okay, so, anyway. Uh, can't hit that guy from over here. Nice. Well, I'll see what I can do. Uh, we got a new sword at this point, Miramasa. Same as all the other damaging uh, abilities from the draw out skill. I think this is, the, well, not, maybe not the last one, but, uh, well, we're not going to get another one like this for a while. That's a pretty uh, good ability there. So, let's see, can I hit both of them? I don't think so. I don't think Lightning Sword will uh, hit all of them. Yeah, we'll hit the one down there. Maybe show off my elemental ability? Sure, why not? Let's use that there. Learn Blizzard for her. Yeah, some people wanted me to use those abilities more often, so there we go. Okay, now for math skill. Here's how it works. You have to find some number or whatever that's in common with all of your targets. So, let's see. Uh, let's see, CT5 would work, but that would hit all my guys, too. Let's see, experience, three, four, prime, three. So, three might work. But that would hit one of my guys, too. Hmm, okay, so there's CT, experience, there's height, and I forget, oh, level, also. Okay, well, anyway, so let's see, you're at a height, let's see, height prime, hmm, 10 isn't prime. Okay, well, let's go EXP3, it'll hit one of my guys, but whatever. So here's how it works, you select the first criteria, experience. Then, I want anyone who has experience that is a multiplier of three, and then you can select whatever spell you want. In this case, I'm going to use Flare! And that'll hit everyone on the battlefield instantly, free of mana costs. Or, well, MP costs there, so. Now, hey, hey, all right, it worked. But yeah, one thing you could do to make that really obscene is say at the hmm, okay. yeah say at the start of the battle uh, use CT five holy and have like all your characters equipped with holy like chameleon robes or something that absorbs holy or whatever and you could just kill like every enemy on the screen instantly right at the beginning of the battle if you have a lot of speed so yeah it is ridiculously powerful because there's no cost to it at all so yeah i'm not going to abuse that too much viewers but i just wanted to demonstrate it for you so there we go hmm let's kill that one i've used enough holy sword already come on it's just a couple of flakes Oh, I could use math skill again. Yeah, one of the problems with uh, the math skill from using the calculator job class as opposed to... Yeah, I can't do anything from here besides math skill again. But yeah, calculator has really, really, really low speed. They have like a speed of three. So really, if you're going to use calculator, you basically want to get the abilities via propositions and then equip math skill as a secondary ability. That would pretty much be the way to go. Hmm. Nothing I can do there. Cheer up, Krona. You got the speed. You got the move. You got the moves. I don't know why we would care to turn him undead. Well, I suppose if he tries to heal himself, he would uh, damage himself, I guess. Time to die. Well, you got good jump there. 
All right, got them all. I thought math skill would be a little obscene, but uh, you know, I only killed two enemies with it. Well, there you go. That's how math skill works. And we've got more battles to do here at Golan now. But can we find a steal for a new gun? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Oh, it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would.